Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to play with the new mini release from the Rabbit Hole Designs. This cute little frog stamp set is called Got a Bug. And this mini stencil, I can't find the name on it, but it's got all these cute little elements that you can put in the background of your big-eyed frog. Uh, I collect frogs. I love frogs, especially tree frogs, so this was especially fun for me. I stamped out two of these little guys, one in black and one in gray. I end up using the gray one in the next video. So for now we're just going to color this first guy here. He's got a cute little sentiment with him. It says, heard you got a bug. And we're going to use that sentiment today. And we're going to make a cute little shaker card. Uh, if you can see off to the side there, I stamped out two sets of eyes, one in blue, one in green. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add colored eyes to him or not, and I don't know if I left it in later on in the video, but I do play around with seeing how they would look. In the end, I decided to just keep him with his black eyes and use glossy accents over them. I do, however, change the color of his eyes in another card video coming up this month. Now this little stencil I just thought was super adorable. I mean, you could make an entire scene out of this, but I just went with a simple background so that I had something to go behind my shaker. And I have all the colors listed for you up there. I just had the biggest storm I've seen in a while. We've had a lot of warm weather here and a cold front came in and we had a massive thunderstorm. Almost blew over my brand new gazebo. Okay, on to the next part of the card. I'm using this rectangle extraordinaire stencil from MFT and I'm using it so that I can center my background. And I'm just making sure it's roughly the same around all four sides there with my little ruler. And I'll list up above the colors I'm using for the cattail tops. <clears throat> and then for the bottoms, I believe for the tops I use tea dye, gathered twigs, and brushed corduroy. But not in that order specifically. Lightest to darkest. And then for the leaves and stem, I use mowed lawn and peeled paint. And I'm only going to show you how I did the first one. I'm going to skip the next ones in line and then skip ahead to the last set of cattails. And I moved them up and down and flipped the stencil over. Anything to make them look like different cattails. I didn't want it to be straight across, all of them even in height. I wanted to give a little bit of variation to those cattails. And here we are moving on to the last one. And I'm sorry, I, I'm losing my voice again. And I've determined that it's not necessarily because I get sick, which I was until the weather got warmer, and my allergies. It's because I've been yelling at the kids so much lately, guys. They are driving me crazy. They are here all the time. They are always fighting. They're getting at each other's throats. They're driving each other up a wall. They're driving me up a wall. It's been a rough go. So we're almost done with the last set of cattails here. And now we're going to use the little fly with the two upright wings. And we're going to block off the wings with a little piece of purple tape and just use some bl black soot in there to make our fly black. And then I'm going to wipe off the excess ink on the stencil and then cover the body and do the wings with tumbled glass. The tumbled glass turned out a little bit darker than I wanted for the wings, but I still thought that it looked good. And I did something a little different for the trail, the fly trail. I used a sparkle jelly roll pen, a silver sparkle jelly roll pen, and just colored in the uh, spaces of the stencil instead of using ink because I wanted it to sparkle. So now I'm using an alcohol color, alcohol ink background that 
was previously done. I didn't make it specifically for this card. It was actually one of those times that don't happen too often where I actually pulled out a background that was made ahead of time for such purposes as these, but I almost never use them. I'm trying to use up my stuff, so. Anyway, the colors I thought matched well, and I just measured out the rectangle using the inside stencil rectangle from the MFT stencil traced around that and then cut it with my X-Acto blade because I didn't feel like pulling out my rectangle dies. You could have done it with a rectangle die. I don't know why I didn't pull it out. It probably would have taken maybe a minute extra to find it, but this wasn't too hard the way I did it. Then I stuck a piece of acetate on there and as always, before I put my acetate onto the card, I wipe it front and back with some hand sanitizer. And I thought as I said that, yeah, who's going to have hand sanitizer? But all us crafters either have uh, isopropyl alcohol or hand sanitizer somewhere in their craft room. I hoarded mine. I wouldn't let anybody touch my hand sanitizer when everything started happening. It was for my craft room and my craft room only. I ended up tripling up my foam around the edge of the border because my foam is so skinny. If you have normal 3M foam, Scotch 3M or something like that, you could probably get away with using whatever your preference is, one or two layers. And then I used the crystals that you just saw listed on the screen from Studio Katia to fill the center and some clear seed beads from Doris. And as always, I added some glue to my foam tape and then put my background straight onto the frame. Now I'm going to use some Versifying Claire Nocturne Ink and stamp out my sentiment. I have heard you got a bug and I think I heat embossed that as well. I can tell you about that in a second if I did or not when I look at it. And then I use some art glitter glue to glue that entire thing onto the black card base. I just had some acrylic. I didn't want to use my big heavy iron to hold that in place because I was afraid it would smush down all that foam tape. And I didn't want my crystals to get stuck in there. So I used some acrylic blocks. And now we're going to glue our little frog flat to the bottom corner there. And I'm actually covering up a mistake. If you saw the mistake, you have a good eye. If you guys saw the mistake, let me know down below in the comments what you think it was that I covered up with the frog. And I'll tell you if you're right. And after I stamped out the sentiment and heat embossed it, I went around the edges of the... Uh, sentiment strip with black soot distress ink. I don't know if I like it or not. I was trying to pull in the black card base. I kind of like it. I'm still not too sure about it. And there I'm playing around with the colored eyes. Let me know also down below if you prefer the colored eyes or the black eyes with glossy accents. And that's it for this card, you guys. There's some pictures coming up. Uh, check into this new release. It's such a cute little set. And I will have uh, links down below in the description box for you guys. And I have a couple more videos coming up using this stamp and stencil set. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.